to make the model you need to add a plane so shift a add a plane and we need a single words at there so delete remain you will get this single word then e to extrude it and now we need to create a path to create the form so that's why extrude the words and create a path at there then at the end you need to merge the words to complete that path so select the words and press m and merge at last after that you will get this path then we need to add bevel at the corners so that's why select the words and then control b and then press v to add the bevel on the corners and add four segment bevel at there give the proper bevel width for the bevel same thing we need to do with this word select the words and then control b and then add bevel add a four segment bevel then convert this part to the curve and then you need to add a bezier circle so add the circle scale it down like this then just move it along the y axis just to take its side after that select this curve and then curve properties and then go to the geometry here and then object and select that bezier circle you will get the depth on that curve and then you need to adjust the resolution here just keep the resolution on a 3 because we will subdivide it adjust the size of the circle to adjust the size of that tube after that you need to select these words then select this bounding box center and then just adjust the scale of the words and then adjust the position to get the right form at there after getting the right form just make a backup and then you can convert this to the mesh go to the edit mode add few loop cuts on the model then add the subdivision surface modifier and now you need to apply that modifier with the one viewport level so now you can see we got the merge view on the model now you need to select the faces at the corner because we want to create the boolean side there so that's why you can select one face loop and then you can select the proper faces and then you can deselect the remains one then control plus to increase that selection and you can see we have selected the right faces and then delete these faces then you will get the uh, 16 words at the border of these faces we need to add the cylinder of the 16 words add the cylinder with the 16 words okay now you need to give the right position to this cylinder so just give the right position at the center of those selected faces you can take it little bit up along the z axis so just move it and then you can go to the edit mode of the tube and then you will get the guide like this from the faces and then just you need to adjust the position of the cylinder and now you can see we got the cylinder at the center of these faces and same thing you need to repeat for the all corners so just do this thing After giving the right position to the cylinder, select all cylinder and then join them together. And then give the right position along the z axis to these cylinders. So you can select this bottom part and then just adjust the position. After that, select both object and use the boolean operation difference. So in this way we can create the holes on it. then you need to shift d to duplicate it and create a backup and then you can apply the boolean modifier and then delete that cutter object so you can see we got the boolean at there now we need to create the right topology so you need to select these faces so just shift select these faces and you need to delete these faces so x and then delete them now select these words and then shift g amount of adjacent faces it will select the similar words and then dissolve these words and then just you need to fill these gaps you can use the bridge each loop or you can press f and same thing you need to do here also after doing this thing you need to select this each loop and then control b to add the bevel at there 
and add a subdivision surface modifier on the model and increase its count up to 2. Now you can see we are getting the decent form at there. Now just we need to edit this topology a little bit. So select this face loops and then you need to press I for the insert operation. So just shift select and use the insert operation at there. After that select this bottom faces and then delete them after using the insert operation. And now you need to select this edge loop and now we need to use the grid fill. So select that edge loop face and then grid fill. And you need to do the same thing for remain ones. After that you need to add the sub modifier. And now that's look good. Just we need to add the bevel on the edges outer edges of those bullions. So select these outer edges and then control B and then add bevel at there. Give the right bevel width and add one segment bevel. And now we got the decent boolean at there. Okay now we need to take the symmetry. So select everything and mesh and then symmetrize and you need to take the symmetry along the z axis. So just take the symmetry at there. So we will get the same booleans from the bottom side. Uh, now you need to dissolve these edge loops. So select these edge loops and then control X to dissolve them. And then you need to use the knife tool and then create a slant cut like this. So select the first point, press Z and then select the second point and then press enter to complete that operation. So you need to create the slant cuts like this with the help of knife tool. So create the cut here. Then turn on your x-ray mode and we need to select all faces. And then press B for the selection so you can make a different object. Now you need to select these faces here. So just shift select these faces from the inner side and then shift D to duplicate it and press B for the selection. So you will get the different object of those faces and then E to extrude it and extrude it along its normal and add a little bit of thickness at there. Use the insert operation at here to add few loops and add few loop cuts on the model. And now you can see that's look pretty well. Then select this part and you need to do the same thing with this one. So select the faces and then shift D to duplicate it and then press P for the selection. Then go to the edit mode and E to extrude it and extrude it along its normal and give the same thickness. And then you need to add a few loop cuts on the model. So use the insert operation and add a few loop cuts on the model. And now you can see we are getting the decent form here. And now we need to fill this gap. So select these edge loops and then press F to fill the gap. Then select these faces and press I for the insert operation. And add few loop cuts on the model. Then select these faces, use the insert operation, right click and use the loft option in the loop tool. And then add a loop cuts here. So here I will use the knife tool and create a slant cut. So select the first point then press Z and then select the remains point means next next points and then you need to press enter to complete that operation and you need to create the cuts here. So use the knife tool and create a cut. Like this. Then you need to select these faces. You can select with the cross selection and then delete these faces. After that you need to select these edges and then press F to fill the gap and just increase that selection means that fill the gap and then add a center loop cut like this. Select these edges, press F to fill the gap and create a chord based topology at there. Then select these faces with the cross selection and then press I for the insert operation. 
now that's look good just add one loop cut here and then add one loop cut here and add one loop cut here and add one loop cut here and that's look good now take the backup object we need that backup object so just take it and move it to the collection like this okay so now we have this tube form and just you need to go to the read mode of that tube and then select everything and press alt s to scale it along its normal so we can create that inner tube which passes through this outer tube just shade smooth it and you can see this is like a small inner pipe just you can adjust the scale along its normal you need to press alt s for that okay so now here i want to create a little bit of design little bit of details so that's why you can use the simple insert operations so you need to select these faces and after selecting these faces you need to use the insert operation at there so you use that insert operation then select these faces and use that insert operation one more time and then scale it down along its normal so you can press alt s and in this way you can create a little bit of design at there like a creep kind of details so you can adjust the scale by pressing alt s then select these edge loops and then press ctrl b and then add a bevel on it so now you can work on its topology to make a good topology add there so that's why you need to select this words and then merge at the center like this and then you need to add few loop cuts here so just you need to add few loop cuts here like this then select this words right click and then connect vertex path and just try to create that chord based topology in this way you can create that topology at there so repeat the same step for remains then you can add the loop cuts like this to maintain that form and just shade smooth it and add few loop cuts on the model to make it good you can see we are facing the little bit of difficulty from the inner side so just delete these faces then select these edge loops just select everything press m and merge by distance select this edge loop and then use the loft option or bridge edge loop so you can work with its topology and try to get the decent look So select the faces and use the insert operation then select this words and use the transform orientation to the normal and then just move it along its normal then select these faces with the shortest path selection and then extrude inside like this just give the small extrusion at there and then add few loop cuts to maintain that form like this and that's look good and then shade smooth it and it's look good pretty well you can do the same step with this corner also and now you can see we are getting the decent model here so just select these faces and then use the insert operation and then you can delete these faces and then you can use the grid fill or you can manually create the 
topology add there by selecting the words and then right click and then connect vertex path so you can choose any way and then you can add the loop cuts with the help of knife tool now i will work on this part so just select this much faces and make a different object and just scale it along its normal and just give it a little bit more thickness so it will look good and just fill the gaps and then use the insert operation and add few loop cuts like this and then use the grid fill or you can use the locked option also and just add few loop cuts on it and now that's look good so you can see we have created the decent model and just i have added the few simple details on the model to make it good and now i will use the kid bash so you will get this kid bash on our gumroad store so kid bash is very good option to add more details on the model in a faster way so i will use this kid bash nuts and bolts volume 1 link is in the description and then I will use this skid bash piece and I will just add more details on the model. So just select all these bolts and then join them together and then you can take the symmetry with the help of mirror modifier. So just add the mirror modifier and then take the symmetry along the z-axis and now you can see the model looks decent. We have added more details on the model with the help of kit bash and in this way you can create this kind of models. So thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel. Bye bye, so next video take care.